you are not going to get a pension. I'm sorry, I'm the bearer of bad news, but this is what is going to happen. You are not going to get a pension. The majority of the people think that they are going to get a pension. There is a simple deal at the start of your working career. You pay your national insurance. You are told if you commit 35 years of paying national insurance, you will get a pension. Well, it's not as simple as that. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why and the things that you can do to prepare yourself when the government eventually tell you that you are not getting that pension that you're entitled to. So what's the deal? Why are you not gonna get your pension? Well, the deal is that the pensions are a Ponzi scheme. If you do not know what a Ponzi scheme is, you borrow from one person to pay back another and keep going round and round until the Ponzi scheme ends. Ponzi schemes are illegal. Many people have done Ponzi schemes over the years. It is illegal. They, it seems like there are different rules for the big corporations and big companies. Who knew, right? What a shocker. But the pension scheme in the UK is a Ponzi scheme. When I say they borrow from one person to pay another, they borrow from the current workers, myself and people my age, people who are currently working, paying taxes and their national insurance, that is not going into your pension pot. It's described like it is. It's described as if the money that you're paying into your national insurance is going into your pension pot that they will pay you when you retire. But that is not the case. They're taking your national insurance and paying it to pensioners right now so your money is going into those pensioners however the high likely is that people my age i'm 36 people maybe just above my age my age and below are very unlikely to see their pension because when it comes time for them to retire there will not be enough money left the population boom on that boomer generation required a lot of money for this current working class right now to put a lot of money into their pensions and those pensions are running out. When it's our time to retire, there is no boomer generation behind us to support us that are going to pay that national insurance, that, that is going to be able to support the millennials when it comes time for us to retire. This is the Ponzi scheme. Ponzi schemes eventually always come to an end. When someone stops lending that person the money, they can no longer pay that money back to the people that they owe. Unfortunately, that is our generation. Also, the problem is they're going to take the pension away from us but they're also not teaching us how to support ourselves either they still want us to be financially illiterate they still want us to be living in poverty on the breadline pick a lane government either support us or educate us so we can support ourselves pick a fucking lane so what's it going to look like what are the warning signs to say that we're not going to receive that pension well first of all i'm here joe blogs on the internet telling you that I, even i can see it i'm a financial advisor i can see the money i can see how it works i know how ponzi schemes work so i can see that this is a ponzi scheme that one day will run out but what are the other warning signs the warning signs that you look forward to here the first warning sign is the pension age is currently you will retire at 65 that pension age keeps on increasing year on year it will keep on increasing more and more dramatically to the point where you will be working until in your mid 70s or even 80s where it's just not possible your body will not be able to function to work at that point it will not be safe for anyone to work at that point it is just dangerous for you warning sign number two is they will increase national insurance they need more money from us the working class the people that grind every day they will tell us that our national insurance has to go up to support people's pensions. That again is a warning sign that that money is running out. Warning sign number three is when they increase the amount of years that you are supposed to contribute towards your pension. Right now, you must contribute 35 years towards your national insurance so you will receive a full pension when you retire. That 35 years, one inside number three is that 35 years that you have to contribute will increase. When you see that increase in your contributions, when you see the increased amount of national insurance you have to pay, when you see the increase in the age of your retirement, these are all warning signs from the government that the money in the pension pots are running out. If it was not running out, they would not have to increase it we will just see you will get a pension and it will be promised and it will be guaranteed but it is not that money is running out so you cannot you absolutely cannot 
rely on the state pension. You have to assume, if you are my age or younger, or maybe even just slightly older, you have to assume these millennials and other generations after us, we have to assume that we will never ever receive that state pension. We have to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. But we can't just hope for the best, we have to prepare for the worst. Side note as well, the world is being taken over by AI, by artificial intelligence. These are taking over our jobs. Admittedly, I understand from a business point of view, if you can have a robot doing the job 24 seven nonstop without fail, and it's so much cheaper and more accurate and more consistent, it makes sense as a business owner to have a robot or a software to do the job of a person because a person needs breaks, they need rest, they have human rights, they have all of these things. So it makes sense from a business owner to have AI taking over a lot of their work. So I understand that, but that leaves a problem. If you cannot work, you cannot pay your national insurance. So that means you cannot receive your pension. This again is another warning sign that you will not get that pension because you're not able to contribute into your national insurance. This video is pretty brutal, but it's eye-opening and honest. If you like this type of content, hit the like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can bring this type of content with the algorithm to as much people as possible so you can get as many people as possible preparing for their retirement. So you're not just pressing that subscribe button for me, you're pressing it for everyone in the working class, everyone that is going to get scammed out of their pension by the government. Hit that subscribe and hit the like button so you can bring this video to as many people as possible and support them in their journey to financial freedom. You've listened to me bitch and moan about pensions and that they're going to run out and that we're wasting all our money paying national insurance and we're never actually going to see that pension in the first place. Now let's talk about some solutions. I'm not just going to leave you alone with that horrible news. I'm going to look after you here. Papa Max is going to look after you. Don't worry about it. Let's take care of you here. So a few steps that you need to do to prepare for your retirement to make sure that you are not going to die in poverty. Step number one, you need to increase your pension contributions with your employer. You need to speak to your HR. You need to speak to your boss and ask your boss, what is the maximum amount of money that I can pay into my pension, my direct contribution pension, my DC pension, what is the maximum amount of money that I can pay into that pension that you, my employer, will match or double match or what incentive, whatever incentive they offer, what's the maximum I can put into that. Once they tell you that, you must match the maximum contribution that you can match paying into your pension. Super important. Imagine again, I know you're thinking I'm going to have less money now, but imagine a world where you are not capable of working because your body's just too old and fragile and you're not getting a pension. You're getting absolutely no money whatsoever. Now think about that when you go to your HR and increase that pension contribution. So do it right away. That's hugely important for you to do that. You may already be paying the maximum amount already, but at least if you go and speak to them, at least you know that and you have that peace of mind that you're doing everything that you can. Step number two in preparation for not receiving a pension is to save and invest. You must save and invest. You must put your money into assets that grow in value. The savings that I'm sure you've all got some form of savings, whether it's £10 or £10,000, I'm sure you've got some version of some kind of savings. You need to put those savings to work. Get that money invested in assets that actually grow. The money that you are saving and leaving in the bank is actually depreciating in value. That is because of inflation. That is because the price of goods and services are increasing. So the £100 you have in your bank today is worth £100. But in a year's time, it's probably going to be worth about £98. And it will keep falling in value. It'll still look like £100, but it'll be able to buy less things with it. So you must put that money into assets. You could put it into real estate. You can buy property and receive rental income. The property of the house will grow in value as well and you can benefit from the capital gains. You can put your money into the stock market. Click on the link below to the Trading212 account. Sign up today and you'll get a free stock worth up to £100 using the link below. So click on the link below. Free money, free money. Just take it. Just go, and go ahead and take that money. But also learn that you can actually put your money into stocks 
that over time can grow in value and even receive dividends as passive income as well. You must be putting that money that you're saving to work by putting it in stocks. Now you might think it's risky. Well, let me tell you this. So the stock market is risky. You might lose money. Keyword, you might lose money. The stock market over time goes up on average. So the probability is that you will make money. You might lose money. You probably will make money compared to if you have money in the bank, that money will depreciate. So tell me, what would you prefer? Would you prefer a situation where you'll probably make money, you might lose money, or you will definitely lose money? That's the simple black or white of it. So you must be putting that money to work by putting it into investments. If you have no idea what to invest in, just go ahead and invest in the stock market itself. Invest in a global world fund or the S&P 500 or the FTSE 100. Invest in one of these. It's a market itself. You don't need to manage it. You don't need to maintain it. You just need to put your money in there and let the market itself do the work for you. So click on the link below, sign up, get your free stock when you sign up to Trading212 using the link below. You must keep putting that money to work so you can keep building those assets, building that foundation. So when the day eventually comes, when you eventually need to retire, when the day eventually comes, when the government tells you, yes, you are retiring and I am not giving you anything. You've contributed all that money. You've given all your, that national insurance and I'm not going to give you anything in return. When that day eventually comes, you will have prepared for the worst. You will have the foundation. You will have the stocks. You'll be receiving the dividends. You'll have the rental income from the properties that you own. You're building your foundation this way. It's super important. If you watch this video and take no action and you get to the day, then you retire and have no pension, then it's on you, my friend. I'm sorry, I've told you now. It's on you. You need to take responsibility. You need to take that responsibility in your life and build up those assets and prepare yourself for the day that you retire so you can have a rich and fulfilling life in those retirement years. So it's time to wrap up now. It's quite possible that you will not receive a pension from the government. The Ponzi scheme one day will run out. I'm not the only one saying this. Just search it on YouTube. You'll find so many people that can see it so clearly. For the government, I'm speaking to you now. I'm going to give you a little warning. I will give you an out if you're willing to do this. The simple thing that you need to do is when someone is born, get £10,000, put it into the market, into the FTSE 100, in Invest that £10,000 until the person who was born reaches the age of 65. That amount of money will support that person through their retirement. But I know you, government. I know that you know that this is the answer to this solution. But I also know that you don't care. I also know that you're not willing to put that upfront money forward initially in the first place. I know you're not willing to do that because you like the money that you've got on hand right now and you don't want to let go of that money that you've got on hand right now you'd rather waste that money on stupid political campaigns instead of actually supporting us when we get to our retirement so i'm just telling you there is your solution it's up to you government to take action but for my individual viewers here today it's time to summarize this. It's quite unlikely if you are a millennial or a generation following the millennials, it's quite likely that you will not receive the state pension. The Ponzi scheme will run out. Look out for those red flags. Look out for the increased pension age. Look out for the increased pension national insurance contribution. Look out for the increased amount of years that you need to pay into your national insurance contribution. Look out for these red flags. Look out for AI technology taking away your jobs, taking away your ability to actually pay your national insurance in future. Look out for those red flags. And when you're seeing those red flags, watch this video back again. And remember that you need to prepare. Start preparing today because one day you will retire. One day you will be thankful that your younger self looked after your future self and put in that groundwork and prepared for that retirement so you could support and live a rich and fulfilling life. What are your thoughts on the government and the pension? Do you think the pensions will run out? What year specifically do you think the pensions run, will run out? Leave a comment in the description below with the year that you think that the pensions will run out, that the Ponzi scheme will come to an end and we will stop receiving the state pensions in the UK. If you like this type of content, I'm sure you're going to love this content, which tells you that your money is not really your money. So watch this video right here. I'm sure you're going to love it.